Well, you've all been welcomed to our cathedral already, but I am happy to do it once more and to celebrate with you as these 11 young men and women promise to serve the needs of the church in the parishes and agencies throughout our diocese. As you know, you have completed a two-year period of preparation, including study and prayer and the opportunities to minister in a variety of ways. They follow in the footsteps of countless individuals here in our own diocese and throughout the church who fulfill their baptismal call to proclaim the good news to others. I couldn't help but think as I was getting ready for this afternoon's celebration of the indispensable role that the laity has in the mission of the church. By virtue of baptism and confirmation, you have a special responsibility to know your faith, to live it, and to share it with others. In our own time, Pope Francis has often emphasized the importance of lay ministers working in service to each other. In his first apostolic exhortation, the joy of the gospel, the Holy Father tells us that by reason of our baptism, we are agents of evangelization. Pope Francis calls us missionary disciples. A disciple is a person who follows Jesus and adopts the pattern of his life. A disciple aspires with all his or her being, all of his strength, to be like Jesus. And the missionary disciple is one, of course, who goes forth to proclaim Jesus and to share the good news. Pope Francis put it this way. God challenges those who believe to go forth. In fidelity to the example of the master, it's vitally important for the church today to go forth and preach the gospel to all, to all places, on all occasions, without hesitation, reluctance, or fear. In the gospel reading, we heard Jesus tell his apostles to go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Later in the passage, we heard that the apostles went forth and the Lord accompanied them. By commissioning you as lay ministers, the church accepts your commitment to go forth in a variety of ministries that will build up the body of Christ. As we heard in the reading from St. Paul, there is one God, but many members who have a variety of functions. The body is one and has many members, but all members, many though they are, are one body. And so it is with Christ. In a special way, you are the living stones of the church. And you are commissioned to bring Christ and his message to others and to accompany them on their journey of life and faith. You know, as Jeremiah did, that you cannot faithfully minister to others without divine assistance. 
You can go forth with courage, as Jeremiah did, because God is with you. How important it is that you remain connected to the Lord through prayer and regular reception of the sacraments. The credibility of your ministry and witness require it. You can never grow weary of deepening your relationship with Christ. Your ongoing spiritual and ministerial formation is crucial for your ministry. We all need to be refreshed often at the wellspring of God's grace. As the saying goes, we cannot give to others what we do not have ourselves. Christ conferred on the apostles and their successors the duty of teaching and sanctifying and ruling in his name. The laity share in the priestly, prophetic, and royal office of Christ as commissioned lay ministers, you have a role to play in the mission of Christ and the church. Through your participation in the lay ministry program, you have devoted time, effort, and gifts to learning more about your faith. You have affirmed the relationship between knowing your faith living it, and sharing it. You witness to your faith, sometimes silently, but when necessary, by explicit proclamation, you will encourage others to live their faith. Call back those who have strayed from the church and invite others to inquire about our faith. In this day, above all, we need to reach out and encourage people to participate in the life of the parish, to celebrate the Eucharist with each other Sunday after Sunday, and to be living witnesses of the Lord's presence in the world. My congratulations are accompanied by my prayers, best wishes, and deep appreciation for your willingness to assume this role in the church. You represent Christ. You represent the church. Always remember that as you go about your ministry, always remember who you represent. And may God give success to the work of your hands and your hearts, and peace and joy to those to whom you minister.